This is what you need to be grinding for right now in Madden 24. Now, Soul Soul City family, and welcome back to another Madden 24 video. In this one, I'm going to be going through and showcasing exactly what free players, as well as missions, you need to spend your time on. Now, in today's video, I'll be ranking the five most important rewards slash players you got to pick up and what you should spend your time on right now to maximize your value. Now, before we get started, boys, hold on, hold on. It's a Saints game day today. I'm fired up. We got some picks over on Underdog Fantasy for the game as well. Here is one of my first slips i'll post more on twitter though in the next couple hours and fellas i'm not gonna lie to you it was an absolutely ridiculous day yesterday over on underdog fantasy if you guys copied my picks man oh man did we did well we ended up having about 600 worth in wins and i'm pretty sure i only lost like two or three picks we won at least like six or seven it was ridiculous so over like 450 bucks in profit absolutely crazy if you guys copied my picks congratulations i will try and keep the wins going for you guys today and if you don't want to miss out on these monday night football picks boys Boys, click the link in the description or click the link in the pinned comment to download underdog fantasy all right now getting back on track this is the first and most important free reward right now in madden 24 it's located in the competitive field pass boys and in my opinion the best as well as like most attainable reward right now is this level 27 legend player pack now the reason why this pack just became so much more overpowered is because of calvin johnson and charles woodson if you guys didn't know on saturday ea sports put those two new legends in the game and man and oh man, if you pull one of those two players out of this pack, you just got 600k for free. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, Swift, how do you get to level 27 quickly? Really, all you're going to want to do is play Mutt Champions. Playing Mutt Champions, A, gives you some really easy matchups. I feel like there's some really, really easy games you can win in Mutt Champions. And B, it gives you the most amount of XP. As you guys can see right here, you guys probably know this. I've talked about it before, but these Mutt Champions based competitive missions give you way more XP or way more CP as for some reason you guys like to call it. I don't know why you guys like to call it that but like i was saying it gives you more competitive points we'll just call it that than any other mode you can play in this game solo battles head-to-head -head seasons gives you less per game so if you want to go through and get to level 27 in the most efficient way possible play much champions as long as you're somewhat decent at the game you should get to level 27 and it shouldn't be too too difficult now reward number two this one is pretty simple and i'm assuming that most people already have knocked this out but i want to make sure you have eric barry at an 87 overall no excuse boys be sure eric barry is your starting strong safety and be sure he is an 87 overall this card's gonna have 86 speed 86 acceleration really balanced stats across the board and to get this card to an 87 it's fairly simple to buy modern 24 coins for the cheapest price on the internet check out mmoexp by clicking the link in the description and use promo code swift at checkout for five percent off now all you got to do to get this man to an 87 is go to the team captain objectives and be sure you have completed these objectives you don't even need to play through and do every single one all you got to do is get about seven of them completed once you get seven of these missions completed you're gonna get enough points to get seven tokens and then with those seven tokens this card will go from an 80 up to an 87 he is an absolute must if you don't have this guy at an 87 and maybe you've used some of your tokens on ronde barber maybe you've used some of them on kevin mawai take them off that card put them on eric barry i want every single person watching this video to have the man at an 87 no excuse now next up this is one that i think some people have forgotten about and i think you can maybe take advantage of right now if you go to head to head the uk showdown placement line up restricted game mode right here i know that's an absolute mishmash of words but this event right here if you win it and you win a super bowl in this event you get darren waller and i'm not gonna lie to you boys i think there aren't a ton of good people that are still playing this event i think a lot of people have topped out i actually was able to go through and win this event on my live stream a couple days ago and it wasn't too difficult like i'm absolutely not the best madden player in the world i'll tell you that for free i was able to go through here and win this event though now boys if you're curious about how you can play this and the lineup you need i made a full video uh, talking about how you can make a lineup and the best lineup possible to play in this event. I will leave that video linked in the description, but the reason why this event is still worth it right now is because Darren Waller, as you guys can see, he is still selling for a significant amount of coins, a very, very significant amount of coins. 400,000 coins right here is a lot. If you do the math on that, you're getting about 50,000 coins per game that you win. If you win eight games in that mode, you get Darren Waller, 400,000 divided by eight. That's about 50,000 coins per win. You're you're not going to find another event in Madden that gives you that much per win. The only thing I will say, though, is if you don't end up getting Terran Waller and maybe you get to your Super Bowl and lose, or maybe you get to like your conference finals and lose, there's not a ton of rewards you're going to get. So it's kind of like high risk in the sense that you can spend all this time. And if you don't get Terran Waller, you're kind of like, ah, damn, I spent so much time and didn't get much. But
but if you get him, it's super worth it. I ended up getting him. I don't know that I'm going to do it again. We'll see. I might try though. Okay, next up, the other thing I would suggest you guys try and get some progress on is your ultimate kickoff field pass right here. Now, I did make a full video talking about the best way to optimize this field pass, how you can get this done in the absolute quickest way possible. But basically, the missions you guys want to focus on, or I guess the missions you don't want to focus on, are earning stars and solos. You actually don't need to do that mission. You can still get up to level 19 without doing that mission. And again, level 19 is a free 88 overall player. But like I was saying, you don't need this mission to get to level 19. And you also don't need to do one of these three missions. It's really up to you as to which one of these you don't want to complete, but you don't need to do all these. You can get enough XP and get to level 19 without completing every single mission in here. And of course, the mission you're probably not going to want to do is the solos because the solos are very, very tedious and they barely give you anything. Like to be honest with you, they don't give you much value at all. So what I'm going to focus on is I'm going to do these two missions. I'm going to go to head to head as I just play more head to head games. I'll naturally knock more of these out. And then in about two or three days from right now, well, bang, I'm going to be in a situation where I get to level 19. And you guys will kind of notice for a lot of these missions, online play is fairly critical. It's one of the more important ways to like kind of get progress on a lot of things at the same time, which is too bad because I know a lot of people watching this video aren't necessarily a huge fan of playing online. Now, the final thing that I want to mention right here, the final thing you should be grinding for, this is kind of just in like the back of your mind is your season field pass. And really when it comes to your season pass, the only thing you need to do every single day is get that daily objective completed. Otherwise, as you kind of get progress in other field passes, you'll get progress in the season field pass. As you can see, I've actually been slacking on my daily, only done it 23 times. I could definitely have done it more times. I've definitely missed a handful of days in here. Uh, but yeah, for me personally, I'm hoping to get the Reggie White token soon. And I'm also open to get my final Jalen Ramsey token soon. Otherwise, I feel like I've gotten most of the good rewards in here. There's not a ton of really good stuff left. Like the Pro Playmaker is actually a really good pack. Otherwise though, Reggie, the Pro Playmaker, the Jalen Ramsey token, as well as the Triumph pack at the end right here are kind of all I'm grinding for. Now, in terms of what I'm personally grinding for, as you guys saw before, we already did number one. We already have that legend pack. So tick that off. We also already have our team captain upgraded to the maximum. Those two are completed. Now that leaves a couple other missions that I was talking about. Number one, the ultimate kickoff missions. For me personally, I feel like playing online gives me the majority of this stuff all at the same time. Interceptions, daily objectives, those kind of get done by playing online. And then of course, these actual online objectives. So to get the rest of this field pass done, I'm going to be playing online. I think the two point conversions one, I'll get that done rather quickly. And then winning games will also have to get done. That will probably take a little longer though, but much champs wins. Hey, they come pretty easy. And then otherwise, I don't know that I'm going to dabble back in the Darren Waller event. I think for me personally, right now, I am mainly just grinding when it comes to playing online, mainly just playing much champions games. I'm actually enjoying playing online right now, so I don't mind it at all. I actually do kind of enjoy that grind, which is fun. And obviously, if you want to, you can also grind coin making methods, but that's a separate video for the future. So boys, that is the order of what you want to be grinding for right now at Madden 24. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see how you can get 50,000 coins absolutely free in Madden 24 in about 15 minutes, I made a video on that yesterday. Click it. It's on the screen. You're not going to want to miss it because if you actually wait too long, these coins will disappear. So check that out, boys. That's the other thing I would recommend you do in Madden 24. And I'm out. Peace.